See that cat, he already out swimming. He ready right now. What up, this your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel, man. As always, I appreciate you guys coming through and checking out the vlogs, man, because you know the grind don't stop. Always got to keep bringing this fire content, and there's always something to do in the fish room. So today, what I want to work on, it's going to be like a chill vlog. I want to move these Geo Vegas and these Flag Festum Cichlids to this 60-gallon aquarium, because I know it's going to look phenomenal with them guys in there. And that way, I have another tank open to move some more fish over here for breeding purposes or whatever I decide I'm going to do. I got a lot of tanks down here that really don't got fish in them slowly getting everything going moving fish around that i want to breed i have uh, some peacock cichlids in that tank that i want to move out of there today i got a tank already set up for them i got a male and like four females so that's a really good ratio i want to start trying to catch some of these plecos out of here i got tons of baby pleco um but it's just you can't do everything in one day and it's super hard trying to catch them plecos oh and we're gonna go ahead and feed the monsters at the end of this video because i know you guys haven't seen that in a while so stick around to the end we'll have a nice little feeding of the monsters man so let's get this video started all right guys so we're gonna start moving some of these fish that's in this aquarium over to the 60 gallon i'm kind of curious to see how they doing here i'm um, definitely gonna keep a close eye these geo these damon eyes they're not aggressive at all um but i'm more worried about these daniels because these you see how they just be moving and swimming they can be pretty uh, mean um, but they're the smallest fish in this tank so they don't really bother the other guys but i want to see how they do with these smaller fish but i think it's going to be all right because there's tons of fish in this aquarium we'll start with the geos and then we'll put the flag festums in there and these type of geo vegas right here these are some heckalize um i believe they call like thread fins or something like that but they're a heckalize they got some really nice colors and they definitely um you see Look, the Daniel went after them. See, them Daniels, they mean and nasty. I probably should have fed them first because they think everything that comes into the tank is food. They pretty much like exodons. They literally are super aggressive. They already look like they settled on in already. I noticed these flag festivals, two of them that was like super dark colored. And I'm thinking to myself, like, are they trying to breed or something? Nice heck of lies. I'm gonna give you guys a you know a closer look once I get done putting everything in. Ooh, this guy got some really nice colors. But I think they get a decent size to them. So let me know in the comment section. And they're a pretty chill fish too. I like them. And they're gonna do very well in here. They in there. So let me give you guys a little closer look of them now. These are the thread fin geos. See how they doing good. Other ones are swimming, doing good. So much action in here with the Daniels. They just kind of like take up the camera. But the Geo Vegas are looking real good. Like I never really had Geo Vegas, but I've definitely become a true fan of these fish. I definitely keep giving you guys an update on them. I wish I had some more flag festums though. Can you see how this one's just out swimming? So it'd be cool to have a bunch of them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start moving some of these African here. So I got some peacocks. Let me see if I can find some. They all like right in my face. The female right here, that's a female, the peacocks. This is the male back there, there you go. So he's a, a white top. So what I wanna do is get those five out of there and move them down here to this aquarium down here. You can see I actually got the picture already up here. This is what they're gonna look like once he's full grown. That's the male right here. You're starting to see, starting to get a little bit of color. He's gonna definitely be real dominant once he get into this tank and he has no more males to compete with. I thought I had five total, but maybe we could have lost one along the way. I'm gonna go ahead and escape this a little bit. Not really too crazy. Just throw some uh, rock structures up in here. Got this little thing right here. They can kind of like go up in there and hide or whatever not trying to have a whole bunch of rock in here because when it's time to go catch the fish out i'm gonna have to move all this stuff around look at that color i love this rock but let's get these guys in here I'm just gonna grab them by hand see so yeah, that's definitely a female yeah that's definitely a female Just the male right here, well, the most dominant one. That's what they look like once they get bigger. Um, so he is going to be a butte. 
Maybe one day I have like an all peacock male tank. I think that'd be a dope showpiece tank. Last female. They got two holes right there. So that's how you sex them, especially when they small. I am going to uh, be separating all these fish in here soon. I think I want to do something totally different with this tank. It's not working for me. It's cool, but you know, I need to use this for something else. Everything in here kind of going to get separated, even like these uh, Bichardis, which are beautiful, and they haven't even thought about breeding. But hopefully they do one day. Got those guys in here. I'm going to get their light and their hood back on, and hopefully we can get some breeding going. They will definitely breed at this size, so. Hopefully we can get that going. Everything else down here is pretty chill. I got a couple of the lights off on the tank, like the disc, I turned it on so you guys can see. Look how bright his eyes look. Like bloodshot red. It's crazy. Everybody settled in over here. I guess I can show you guys the Exodons. They always a nice sight to see. That's gonna be pretty much it as far as getting all the fish into these aquariums. I am going to go get some fish food and then we're gonna go ahead and feed these monsters and then we're gonna go ahead and end this video. So stick around. All right, guys. So as promised, we're gonna go ahead and feed these monster fish, man. You can see that cat, he already out swimming. He ready right now. I got a bunch of shrimp and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start throwing some food in here because I know they're ready to go. The arrow gonna get down on it. Look at them boys, they hungry. I gotta throw a bunch of food in there just to make sure uh, the cat and everybody can get some food. The Oscars can eat. Look at that cat. He don't play around. I'm like a vacuum. I'm surprised that the um, Arowana only ate just one of them, though. And the uh, Oscars haven't ate one yet. Oh, yeah, you can see the Oscar shot. There you go. I figured that was going to get him. We'll see what the clown knife do. The clown knife been kind of eating live in uh, pellets, so he's not really on, like, no shrimp, really. He don't really fool around with it. Oh, look at the clown one. He tried to get it. He tasted it. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to get these guys into uh, their pond. Look at that arrow. Once we get these guys into that pond, they're going to look so much better. And the feeding videos will be a lot better. Um, they're doing good in this tank, though, but they definitely need a lot, a lot, a lot more space. So once I get back from Aquashella, I will be uh, working on the pond and getting these guys set up. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It doesn't look like everybody is uh, very, very hungry, surprisingly. So I know that cat throughout the night, he gonna definitely eat. Look at this pleco, he's just sucking on a piece of shrimp. That red tail is a monster, man, look at him. Once he get into that pond, he gonna blow up. Cause since I put him in this tank, he has blew up for sure. But once I get him into that pond, he's going to explode. Really beautiful. I like that little black stripe on the back of his tail. The arowana, you already know. But you want another one? What you looking at? But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. And turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these videos. And share these videos with your friends and your family. Let's get this video to about 250 likes. I know y'all can do it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Look at these monsters.